Good morning. I'm doing a full day of meals today, but look, it's snowing. The tiniest of snowdrops falling in the garden. Very excited. Hopefully this settles. Really early this morning, there was like a light dusting, but the floor's quite wet, I think. Also, I really need to tidy my garden. <laughs> this is like winter, needs jet washing and stuff, I think. It looks a bit mucky, but we've got snow. So let me um, crack on with the full day of meals. So this morning, I'm actually gonna make quite a big breakfast. Just got my cup of water here. So I'm hoping to, what I'm gonna eat today is gonna last me through till like tea time, but I am gonna have some lunch, a light lunch, I think. So I'm gonna make some pancakes this morning. I just have my pancake mix in this jar. You can see I use it regular. I like pancakes, especially in the morning. These are the pancakes from Costco. They're called Krusties, I think. Um, they are really delicious. They're like big, fluffy pancakes, and they just taste so good. I went to, let me think, is it called IHOP? I think it's called IHOP in America. So I went to Florida about five years ago now, um, and we went to all of the lovely little restaurants over there, but I'm making a real mess of this. <laughs> I need to just put my scoop in here, I think. I'm not sure what I'm doing. So I just do a cup of pancake mix um, and just less than a cup of water. Give it a mix and then I will add more if I need to. But yeah, I went to IHOP. Um, we went to like Wendy's, we went to Taco Bell, we went to Olive Garden and um, Applebee's and all of that when we were in Florida because we wanted to try everything. And one of the days we went to IHOP and I just had the most delicious fluffy pancakes. And it's interesting because I've never had pancakes thick and fluffy. Like the pancakes I've had living in England have always been quite thin and like watery. But when I tasted, it almost felt like a cake sponge. Honestly, it was just so delicious. Um, and then I came back here and then a couple of years ago, I got a Costco membership and I saw that they did the pancake mix and they looked pretty much similar to the ones that I hop. So I bought the mix and I've just never looked back since. <laughs> I buy the mix probably every four months at Costco. It's about eight pound, I think. It's a massive big bag. I'll put a picture up on the screen if you want and show you which one I buy. Um, but it's just delicious. So I like to see the consistency of mine quite thick. I think that adds to the fluffy pancakes. I'm gonna put a bit more mix in this and then we'll get this on the frying pan and I'm just gonna do it like dry. I'm not gonna put anything down. I know people put butter down, but I'm not a butter gal on the pancakes. I'm just dry, like get them cooking, add no oil or anything like that. And they don't stick because I've got a really good pan. So let's make some pancakes for breakfast. The second pancake will cook quicker because the pan is already really hot even though we've turned the temperature down. So the first one's done. I'm gonna make three. So this is the first one. Um, the second one, I've done slightly bigger, but it will cook a lot quicker. In fact, it's about ready because you can see all these bubbles popping. That means we are good to go to flip. And I'll do a third. And I'm also gonna work on a bit of a fruit bowl for lunch. And I'm gonna make a cup of tea as well. I'm just gonna make this salad, fruit salad up now for lunch. So I don't have to come um, back down to the kitchen because my kitchen is on the ground floor. My office and my lounge are on the middle floor, so it's a three story house. So I'm going to make up this fruit salad here. This is what I'm having for lunch because I'm having a few pancakes. I don't want a massive lunch. And tonight I'm going to make a barbecue chicken lasagna. So I'll take you along for that process because I need to make that up a little later. Pancakes are done. Now I'm using this. Maple syrup, which is from Costco as well. I get it in a big tub. It lasts me probably the same amount of time as pancakes when I buy the mix again. I don't get through it too much, but I do like this maple syrup on my pancakes. So I'm just gonna pour some on. And then I was gonna have a banana, but because I'm having um, quite a bit of fruit for lunch, I didn't, I'd, I'm gonna leave a banana. I was, I'll be full of fruit today. <laughs> Some might say that's a good thing, <laughs> some might not. Um, I'm gonna have this and then I'm gonna do my salad and my tea. In my last full day of meals video, I did a cup of tea and I saw the comments. 
I read the comments about how people prefer their tea. It's just really interesting. Honestly, it's like an ongoing debate. If you're British and you drink tea with milk, um, the Brits like a cup of tea, but there's two ways to make it. I always do tea bag first, milk second, and some people do milk first and then the hot water second with the tea bag. But I've just always been brought up tea bag first, milk second. Sometimes if I'm making tea for like my husband or my in-laws and I'm in a rush, I might forget and just quickly put like milk in and they complain. <laughs> They're like, no, that's not how you do it. Um, it, it apparently it tastes very different if it's done that way. But yeah, I'm just a tea bag and then some milk. So making a cuppa and then, so I'm taking upstairs. That's the one thing I don't like about this house is the kitchen and the dining rooms on this, the first floor, like the ground floor which was fine when, like when we came to look at the house, we were like, oh, that's really cool. But the reality <laughs> is a lot different, especially when office and lounge is like on the middle floor and then the bedrooms are on the top floor. So I'm taking upstairs with me a fruit bowl for later. I'm gonna take these pancakes, which are now swimming in maple syrup. I've let them sit for a little bit while I made my tea and they are swimming in maple syrup. My cup of tea. And I'm also taking a bottle of water as well. And that is gonna be breakfast today and lunch. And then in a second for you, but like eight hours for me, I will make a barbecue chicken lasagna. Let's make some dinner. It is five o'clock. The snow has stopped. It's not settled, which I didn't think it would. Um, my husband will be back for probably half past five actually. Um, so I'm aiming to get this all prepped and I'm probably gonna put this in the oven for like six o'clock. So I've got an hour to put it together, which will only take me like five minutes, um, let it rest a little bit. And then at six o'clock, I'll put it in the oven. So I'm just using some leftover chicken from Monday. I cooked this chicken up to add to a chicken pasta dish and the leftover of it, I'm gonna use for this lasagna. There's not too much there to be fair, but there's only two of us. So hopefully that's enough. And I'm just gonna literally, add in some barbecue sauce and get this like simmering. I do want to cook the chicken down because if I cook the chicken down, it'll like, I'll be able to shred it a bit more thinly because at the minute it's like chunky. So just heat through the already cooked chicken, get some barbecue sauce in, and then I'm just gonna start my lasagna assembly. All of this will be cooked in the oven. So the white sauce and the lasagna sheets are all, ones that you just like pop in the oven dish and they cook as you bake them. So let's get going. I'm also gonna do a side salad. I think I'm gonna do some onion rings. I was gonna do garlic bread to go alongside it and have lasagna, garlic bread, and some salad, but I don't have any garlic bread. So I think I'm gonna do some onion rings in the air fryer and some salad. But first of all, I wanna get this chicken like shredded to a shredded consistency. I also need to grate some cheese and work on my salad. So while the chicken is simmering, I'm just gonna turn it down a little bit. I'm gonna take you over here and we're gonna work on salad. When I say salad, the only things I've got are cucumbers and tomato. <laughs> that is it, which will be fine. It's not an issue. We like cucumbers and tomato. We've got no lettuce. We've got no red onion and sometimes we put a bit of rocket or spinach in but I'm completely out of that. I've not bought that for a few weeks actually. So I'm just going to work on, I'm just going to slice them up. Probably chunky because we don't have a lot of salad. So sometimes hubby will like dice up the tomatoes and that's always really nice. Like the smaller pieces but I'm just going to go over with like tomato wedges because it will bulk out um, the side salad anyway. Let's see what I can do with the grapes. Not grapes, cucumber. What am I on about? Let's see what I can do with the cucumbers. Um, I've seen a couple of people, I've seen a couple of people grate the cucumber, like grate one bit and then leave a bit of skin, then grate, then leave a bit of skin. And I've never tried that. It actually looks quite cool, the cucumber pieces, but I'm just gonna do cucumber sticks. So, Easy peasy. Let's give this a bit of a wash. Okay. 
can smell that barbecue sauce. Let me just turn that down. I don't want it to burn. So we're just going to do a wedge and I'm going to go down and just do cucumber battens, I think, for today. I'll chop these into thirds. They won't be this big. That's perfect size. So that's going to be our tea. Easy, quick. Hopefully the barbecue lasagna works out. I will say, if I do mince, beef mince lasagna, we get more mixture because the beef mince is obviously a full packet. But I wanted to use, I brought two chicken breasts and I wanted to stretch them for two meals. So I might not have like tons of chicken mixture. I don't think it'll be a problem, but you know, there might not be a lot there. So I've just put a base down. This is just barbecue sauce and white sauce. This jar white sauce, just to get some liquid on the bottom of this dish. And I'm just gonna sprinkle it with some of this Parmesan. This is just the Italian style grated Parmesan. This is just gonna add to the cheesy flavor. And then the first lot of lasagna noodles are going down. So these are, they come like this, if you're not familiar, just like little rectangles. And because of the round dish, I'm just gonna go ahead and break my noodles up. I'm not looking for a perfect, like fully covered base. I just wanna make sure we've got plenty of noodles in there. Um, I don't even care if they overlap because of the liquid underneath, that's gonna absorb and make them soft when they get in the oven. So first a bit of base down, and then I'm gonna add some more of this white sauce to my mixture. And give that a stir. Let's get a spoon. And then on top of this, I'm gonna add some more Parmesan, because this is not a cheese sauce, it's just a white sauce. Um, it does have cheese in it, it's got cheese and cream in it, but it's not very strong in flavour. So just going to add a bit of parmesan, give it a nice flavour. Then we're going to go in with the barbecue chicken. This is what it ended up looking like. So I'm just going to be not that generous because there's not too much, but um, I want a couple of layers here. So we'll spread that around. Fine. and then I'll use my noodles to like kind of spread it a bit more we do have a box of noodles like more lasagna sheets too if I need more lasagna not use these lasagna sheets for ages I think it was probably like I don't know four or five months ago that I last bought them um, yeah, they've lasted. <laughs> I'm also probably now going to add in some grated cheese. I'm basically just making it up, guys. <laughs> the recipe, I can't follow because I didn't make my own sauce. So I'm making it up, but I'm going to add some grated cheese. I've grated some cheese for the top, but I'm just going to add some in because I think that'll melt quite nicely in there. Um, so we'll add some of that in as a, in, like an in-between layer. So when you cut through, you're gonna cut through melted goodness, which I think will be quite nice. And then I'll add some more barbecue sauce here. Usually I do beef mince lasagna with like a red, is it passata, would you say? I think it's like a red tomato pasta -y sauce, isn't it? Um, but yeah, today we're trying this one. Hopefully it tastes delicious. Right, so that's all of the barbecue chicken. I don't have any more. What else do I need? Let's do another lasagna sheet. And then I'm just gonna top it off because I need some liquid on top of this lasagna pasta. Obviously it's gonna go hard. And you don't want a crispy pasta when you bite through. So I'll put some sauce over here to cover the pasta and then I'm just going to top the whole thing with some grated cheese. And I'm going to let that bake for 30 minutes at least. Maybe I'll see 
what it's like, but at least 30 minutes. I think I'll be all like this. It's got no um, peppers in it or onions, anything like that. Very, very basic, but we've got a side salad. And to be honest, I'm full of fruit. That whole, <laughs> that whole fruit bowl, I didn't want to throw any away. I don't like waste. So the grapes were fine. I had the grapes just after the pancakes. And then probably about three o'clock, maybe 3.30, um, I ate the orange. The apple was like discoloring, which I should have put some lemon juice on there. I completely forgot. Um, but I struggled to get it all down. It was just so much fruit, quite a big bowl. So definitely three of my five veggies today, at least. Right, there we go. That's it. Done that, done the side salad. I'll show you what our portion looks like in just a sec. Go dinner. The barbecue chicken lasagna, yeah, I'm not sure about this one. It seems to have collapsed. And I used a strong mature cheddar cheese, which gave quite a bit of oil in the dish. Um, but it smells delicious and I'm sure it's going to taste very nice. So we've got the little salad, a couple of onion rings, which have been air fried, nice and crispy, and some chicken lasagna for tea. And that finishes the end of the full day of meals with you. I hope that you enjoyed seeing what I've eaten today. Thanks for coming along. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.